Hey guys, it's Greenbolt and welcome to the first episode of my Pokemon TCGO Booster Pack Openings. Um, I decided to keep this separate to the Let's Play videos as that actually focuses more on playing the game. Uh, in this we'll be opening up a number of booster packs. Since my last Let's Play video I've been building up a theme deck to make sure they're unlocked and ready for battle. Hence why you won't see a lot of progress on the uh, Versus Bar, but let's not waste any time and jump straight in. To access the booster cards, we need to go into our collections, and that's somewhere along the top there. And I'll be able to show you how many packs I actually have. So since you've been gone, I've been collecting packs, um, using codes, and that's been building up my pack inventory. So if I put it into a tile view, you can see we actually got a number of packs we can actually open right now. Um, we also got a treasure chest. So to begin, let's get rid of that treasure chest and open it straight away. there and let's see what we have so we have five coins and a houndoom spirit link card so that's not too, too bad start it's a decent card if i did have the uh, houndoom ex mega uh, but i don't but let's hope we can actually get one of those so i'm going to start off with probably our XY Evolution packs, uh, move on to Primal Clash, do a couple of Fates Collide. I won't, unfortunately, I won't be opening all of these. Um, I want to build up quite a bit of the collection before we do any of that. But um, yeah, let's jump straight in. So opening up our XY uh, series cards and let's hope we get an EX card straight off the bat there. And the results are in. So we have a seal, a Charmander, not bad, an Onyx, a Fire Energy card, I wish we never had any of those, a Magikarp, a Venusaur Spirit Link, it would be nice if we can get a, a Mega Venusaur EX card, a Potion, a Metapod, a Magnemite, and... Straight off the bat, a Mega Charizard EX card. What a pull. Whew. Jesus Christ. So let's have a look at this card. So it's 220 HP. Uh, it has Crimson Dive. 300. Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. But what a pull. What a great start. So what we're going to do is open another since we're quite hot. And hopefully we can complete the set of EX cards but obviously I don't think we have enough but it would be great if we can get another one so in this pool we just have we have a Rattata a Tangler a Weedle that's not looking too good a Poliwag a Voltorb but that continuous tackle uh, tumble ability is actually quite decent I actually do like that especially with um, my electric deck we have a Charmeleon so we can evolve our Charmander a Charizard Spirit Link, that's absolutely perfect to go with our Charizard set. A Blastoid Spirit Link. Another Voltorb. And a Chansey. You can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. Let's see what that Chansey has. It has four energy for double edge. 80 damage to itself. That's kind of useless. <laughs> uh, scrunch, prevent all damage. So well, that's a coin flip, so it's 50-50. Oh well, that Charmeleon card does have a bit of firepower to it, so it has three energy, so two flame, one normal, uh, for 90 damage, and you discard an energy fire card. But if you do have the special fire energy, that won't be an issue. So overall, it's not a bad card. So what we're going to do is open another. Oh, and the results are in. Oh, so it's showing two unopened cards, or face down cards, sorry. And that could be, we could be onto another EX card. So, what we have here is Rattata, not a great card. Tangler, got plenty of those now. A Weedle, so another Weedle. Uh, Poliwag, Voltorb again. Maintenance, shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck can't shovel two cards into your deck you can't play this card hmm 
and then draw a card. So you're not losing cards, it's not going to the graveyard. Uh, we have a coughing, foul gas, and a leaf energy. So let's flip these two cards over. Oh my days! A Blastoise EX. Sorry, a Mega Blastoise EX. All we need is the Venusaur guys, and we've got the set. So Hydro, Bombard. This attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Unfortunately, I don't think I can play these cards without the actual EX cards. But let's see what we get in the next couple of pulls as well. So fingers crossed. And we've got the final card. If it is a double EX, this will be crazy. Oh, and it's a Japanese Executor or Exitor. So stomp 20, uh, flip a coin. Just, uh, if it's heads, this attack does 10 more. It's not a bad card. I don't think you can actually play this. Um, I've never played any of the Japanese cards before, but if you you know if you can use it for anything decent, give us a sh uh, comments in the comment section below. Um, but what we're going to do is just move on straight into another pack. So this leaves us with three um, deck, uh, sorry, booster packs to open. Oh, we got shiny colorless energy. Oh, double colorless energy. So once again, we've got another Charmander. We got these energy cards bad but I don't have any mystic energy cards which is quite nice to have. A uh, Tangler, a Volta Orb again, it's double colourless energy cards. Ah uh, oh, looks quite nice, it's, I think it's a shiny, I don't think he is a shiny, normally it give you some sort of reflective material but still it's nice to look at. So we have Super Potion, heal, your, uh, heal 60 damage for one of your Pokemon if you do discard the energy attached to that Pokemon, so it's still not bad like to have. Another Charmeleon. Oh, a Shiny Nidoran with double stab. And finally, a Beedrill. Um, I think we opened a couple of these before, so let's just open our final pack from the XY Evolution deck. So let's see what we have here. We have a Poliwag, not a bad card. A fat Pikachu. So this is basically how they drew uh, Pikachu back in the day for those guys who I've only started seeing the new stuff. Um, we have a Caterpie, another Voltorb, a Diglett, a Mega Slowbro EX Spirit Link, Brock's Grit. So let's see what this does. Shuffle six cards in any combination. Uh, of Pokemon, oh, suffer, no, not six cards. So suffer, shuffle six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So if you do lose any decent cards, you can shuffle them back into your deck with a chance of reclaiming them again. Um, we have de-evolution spray, shiny colorless energy. Which looks, oh no, not colorless, it's steel. And we have an electrode. So. Let's click done for now and see how many uh, XY Evolution Booster Packs we have left. We have two there. We have Steam Siege, Primal Clash, Face Collide. So let's get rid of Ancient Origins. So let's open up this booster pack here. And hope for the best. Oh, and it's already looking promising. So we have Meowth, a Combi, a Gollet, Eevee, a Magikarp, Porygon 2, an Ampharos, a Spirit Link card, Paint Roller, a Go Lurk. So I'm guessing I can evolve that Gollet. And it's a shiny, because you can normally tell by the effect underneath. Yep. Okay, it's a nice little shiny. So let's see what this has. Double Lariat. Flip two coins. This attack does 90 damage times the number of heads. Wow. So total, it has the potential of doing 180 damage. That's crazy right there. And if we open our last card, we have a Clay Doll. Um, let's see what the Clay Doll has. It has, I'm not really that fast with Psychic 
cards. I'd like to buy, run either a fire deck or an electric deck. Um, devolve each of your Pokemon, sorry, devolve each of your opponents a ball Pokemon and put the highest stage Pokemon card onto it into your opponent's hand. So let's see the benefits here. So you devolve the opponent's Pokemon, uh, put the highest stage evolution card into your opponent's hand. So basically you devolve it, but they still keep the evolution card. Uh, Hyper Beam does 30 damage. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So not a great card, um, but we're done with that booster pack. So what we're now going to do is open, let's see, let's open up our breakpoint, see if we get anything nice. Oh, so we've already got fur throw there. So we have, I've never seen this style of fur throw. I do normally see fur throws in my theme decks. So it has tight jaw, basically the same card with a new, uh, beautifully drawn uh, picture, which is nice. Uh, we have a uh, Petalil, a Numel, Pancham, her own edge, Max Elixir. What's this do? Look at the top six card of your deck, attach a basic energy and you find there to be a, a basic Pokemon on your bench. Sorry, let me read this again. Sorry, I'm just not able to articulate my words well today. Uh, look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So not a bad card to have. Psychic's third eye. Your opponent reveals his or her hand. Discard as many cards as you like from your hand, then draw that many cards. So it's discard, so you, you're, you're losing them for that battle. But you get to see your opponent's hand. Not a bad card at all. So we have a Durant, a Misty's Determination, and then finally, a Meganium. So, it's a third stage evolution. I don't have any bay leaves um, at all, uh, so I'm not sure if I can use this card effectively, but it is a nice little hollow card, shiny. Uh, so the ability is overgrow. If this Pokemon remaining HP is 50 or less, its attack do 70 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, it's not too much of a bad card, so they do have to weather this Pokemon down. So Meganium needs to be on 50 energy to do more damage. Uh, so its ability, I'm sorry, its actual attack is Green Force. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. So every 50 damage you do, you can heal 50 back, which means its overgrow ability um, means it's quite survivable. So, but you do need to take a hit in order to get the extra damage. So in total, it will be 120, and it can heal itself 120. I'm guessing. Uh, and let's open up another breakpoint booster. Okay, let's see. Let's put our hands together and pray we get another EX. So far, it's been a great pull. We've been getting Megas, but it would be nice to get just some normal EXs so we can play in our deck. So let's see. We've got a Spritzy, a Skorupi, a Ferrazid, a Glameow, a Shelda. All night party. It's a stadium card. Once during each player's turn, if that player's active Pokemon is asleep, he or she may remove that special condition and heal 30 damage from a Pokemon. So basically, if you do have, um, if you're up against a psychic deck that tends to run drowsy or anything ability that boosts kind of the attack dream eater, uh, having this stadium card could actually prevent and help you. We have a dub blade, so that will be good for our hone edge. Stab deeply. Put three damage counters on your active Pokemon, so about 30 damage. Uh, we have a Blitzel with Reckless Charge. And the final card is a uh, Hypno. <laughs> uh, so that will actually work with well with All Night Party. So Hypno's ability is good night, babies. Once during your attack, uh, sorry, once during your turn before your attack, you may leave both active Pokemon asleep. So, not not great pull, um, to be honest. And let's 
do. So we've done, I think six or seven in total. So let's do another five more. Um, I want to go through these um, breakthrough cards. Just recently got them and I have a good feeling about this. So let's hope we get some great pulls. Okay, so we have a Snubble, a Panzage, an Inke. I don't sure how to say that. Flabby, Flababy. Uh, flu -boo -boo -boo. I'm not sure how to say that. Wish. Flip a coin, if head, search your deck for a card, and then put that in your hand. That's not a bad ability, especially if you want to uh, pull an EX. If you're running a Mystic deck, you have an Aglium. I'm not sure how to see that. I've never seen that Pokemon before. That's new to me. So it has Psycarp. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Psycarp attack does 20 more damage before applying weaknesses and resistance. Uh, we have a special energy card and that's rainbow energy so this card provides every type of energy. I think it needs to do 10 damage. Uh, there was a card similar to this I had before. So while in play this card provides every type of energy but provides only one energy at a time. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon put one damage counter. Yep so I had this card before. You do take a bit of a hit but it's worth the trade off I think. Got a stunk fish or a stun fish <laughs> or a stun fisk. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we have a vanillish a support card. Bridget, search your deck for one basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon. That is a very useful card to have and put them onto your bench, shuffle your deck afterwards. So I'm liking this card already, and let's see if this sets us up for an EX. And we have a Florgus. And the ability is Calming Aroma. Each of your Pokemon's attacks cost one less Mystic Genji. That is actually quite handy to have. And you have Wonder Shrine. Uh, sorry, Wonder Shine. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused for free Mystic Genjis. So that's not a bad trade off, considering the active Pokemon will then be confused with the ability to do more damage to itself. So not a bad attack at all. I'm going to open up our final um, XY booster. And we've got another Flubibi, a Magnemite, a Vanillite, a Teddy Ursra, a Panseer, a Town Map, Heavy Boots, Judge, a Magnemite. And a Simipore. Not a great card. But hey, it's not the end of the world. We've still got plenty of cards to open here. Um, so, what we're going to do is now open our Fates Collide um, XY card, booster pack, sorry. So, fingers crossed, we should be able to get some sort of EX. Oh. I've already seen an interesting card, I haven't seen this one before, Chaos Tower, but we'll get into that in a sec. So we've got a Larvitar, a Diglett, a Bronzor, a Minchino, I'm just going to call it Minchino. Another Minchino, but the artwork seems to be different, and the uh, attacks or abilities. Cleaning up, uh, discard a Pokemon tool attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And Tail Smack. That's not bad considering this one's got 10 more HP. It's more survivable. We've got a Wormadam. Yeah, Wormadam. We've got another Wormadam, but it seems to be a different type. So that's a fighting type and that's a steel type. Let's see. Strike Back. This attack does 20 damage times the number of damage coins, uh, damage counters on this Pokemon. So that is not bad considering it's got 100 health and if it's done like it has 50 damage you can then do 20 damage so that'll be 100 so that's not bad at all um, iron head 60 plus flip a coin until you get tails this attack does 20 more damage for each heads 
Once again, not a bad, uh, not a bad card at all. I'm just wondering if it's twin does anything different. It's got sand spray, 30 damage, and twin bursts. If Mothim is on your bench, this attack does 20 more damage. So it does rely on another card. I would take the Steel type just because it seems to be more useful. Uh, Chaos Tower. Choose which way this card's based before playing it. This, um, sorry, this downward player Pokemon can't be asleep or paralyzed. If those Pokemon are asleep or paralyzed, remove those conditions. Um, and let's see, can we actually rotate that card? Well, let's read. No. So I've got to try and read it upside down. Choose which way. Um, okay. Choose which way this card faces before you play. This player, so the one that's pointing up there, uh, Pokemon can't be confused or poisoned. So you can play, basically defend yourself according to um, what cards you have. So if you are going to poison the opposition, you probably want the poison to be pointed towards down you. However, they will be immune to paralyze. So it's a tr quite a, a clever strategic card, but I'm not sure how to play that yet. But we fun learning how. We have a shiny shuckle, and it has hide a berry and wrap. Nothing special right there. And we got our first actual EX card, and it's a Glacian. Wow. It's a full art, so straight off the bat, it's quite a rare card. Um, second bite. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it wears it down eventually. Uh, Crystal Ray. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Evolution Pokemon. So that is actually very useful. Uh, it just means that they, if they're playing a basic card, you are going to take damage. However, if they got Stage 2 or, or Stage 1 Pokemon uh, from a basic, you're impervious to damage. So that is a brilliant card to have. Fantastic. So what we're going to do, because we're on such a great run here, and so far I think we've got two Megas, uh, two Megas and one stat, uh, normal EX. We're going to open up another pack, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get another uh, EX card. So, from here we have a Fennekin, uh, a Gofita, a Carbink, a Bronzor, a Coughing. A D Evolution Spray, I think we already had one from the um, XY Evolution uh, Booster Packs. An Adino Spirit Link. A Carbink again. And we got a Marowak. But just to note, this Carbink is a shiny as well, so that does make it slightly more special. But today's purpose is to get as much EX cards as we can. Uh, hopefully they're the same type that we can play into uh, a deck on Versus. Okay, so there's some cards I haven't seen here before. We've got a Binnacle, uh, another Coughing, a Gofita, a Catani, a Carbink, a Horlucha, a Sassino, a Wormadam. Is that the same Wormadam we saw before? Yup, seems to be. And this time we have two face down cards. So it's fingers crossed. Ooh, we have a Snorlax, but once again, it does seem to be a hollow. And a Re Reuniclus. I've never seen that Pokemon before. Let's see what it says here. If Solosis is on your bench, this attack does 30 more damage. If du Duoshion is on your bench, this attack does 60 more damage. If Reuniclus is on your bench, this attack does 90 more damage. So it has potential depending if it has its friends with it. Um, I don't like to run similar Pokemon into a deck. I like to vary up a bit. But I'll show you how we we'll use these to build decks in a sec. Or probably in another episode depending on how long this takes. Oh, I already see a Zygarde. Okay, so we have a Diglett, a Whimsor, a Wismer, sorry, uh, Messino. A uh, Vulabi, never seen that one. It's a, uh, probably our first dark card. A Deerling, find a friend. Our first Zygarde card, so let's look at this. It seems to be in its Hound Door form. Okay, so, sorry, I was just reading that Aura Break. If the defending Pokemon is a, a dark or a mystic Pokemon, 
it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. So that is not a bad card, but you have to play against specific types. Uh, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active, so it's not a great card. Uh, what do we have? Power Memory. Okay, yeah, we got this card in our last pull on our first Let's Play video. Uh, so let's look at what we've got face down. So we have an Explode with Ambush with three standard normals. Sorry, three colorless energy. Flip a coin if the head. This attack does 40 more damage. Uh, so basically, 80 plus 40 is 120. So not a bad, not a bad card at all. Okay, let's see what this Cacophony uh, attack does. At the end of your opponent's next turn, discard the defending Pokemon and all the cards attached to it. Wow. So that's not a bad... Oh no, if you do play this... Um, if you do play that attack, that seems like a one-shot kill. Does it count as a... Uh, as in, do you draw a prize card? So at the end of your opponent's attack, discard the defending Pokemon and all cards attached to it. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it'll be interesting. But anyways, we're digressing here. Let's open the, well, let's flip over the final card. And we got a bronze on. Um, not really fussed with that. Nothing special. Let's see. Metal Fortress, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks, including damage done to your bench Pokemon. Guard Press, 60. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weakness. And yeah, you need to evolve it. Um, yeah, I can see some uses for it. Let's see how many cards we have remaining. So I'm gonna leave two in face collide. And what we'll do is we'll open up our um, Primal Clash boosters. Cool, so we got another two face down cards. So we've got a Barboach, a Bulpix, a Hone Edge, that makes two now I believe, a Rhyhorn, a Nidoran, love the R word there. <laughs> A Buffalant, a Need Arena, a Raiden, a uh, Zoomeril. So there we got a uh, Bubble Beam and Super Power. So it seems that seems to have a lot of damage potential there. So Super Power, you may do 30 more damage if you do this. Uh, sorry, you may do 30 more damage if you do this Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. So it's a trade-off. So essentially, you can just go through. Uh, the standard 60 but if you want to boost that attack up to 90 you got to absorb 30 damage yourself so not a bad card to have and considering it's a mystic card as well I heard you can get these uh, dual hybrid cards you could have had that in mystic and water type giving you resistance against two types but fortunately we just got the mystic one and let's flip over our final card and we got Rhyperia uh, so what we have here is rock shower and Stone Edge, flip a coin, and if heads, uh, sorry, flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 40 more damage. So that's 120 damage right there for four energy. So two fighting type and two normal. So it's not bad at all. And I think I'm gonna open up our final booster. So what we have here is a Barboach. A Hone Edge, a Slugma, a Vulpix, a Tynamo, Rare Candy, Acrobite, Freshwater Set, and our second to last card, a Tangrove. So we did get some Tangler cards there, which you now can evolve into Tangrove. Uh, let's see, Grass Knot. That looks interesting. This attack does 10 more damage for each, uh, was it, first stage, I'm guessing in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So, oh, so it's one energy retreat cost. So, hmm, if it's a high end card, I can do 10 more damage. So, say if it was against uh, a Zapdos, which I have two, or if it was something like uh, a Snorlax, which I have four, 
uh, you'll get 40 more damage out of it. So it's not a bad card after all. And our final card is... Oh my god, so this is our third, or maybe, no, this is our third Mega EX card we have, and it's on our final card as well, and it's a Mega Agron EX card. So, it has Megaton Slam. You may flip a coin if heads, this attack does 120 damage. If tails, this attack does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. So, it's not a bad card at all. So if head distance, oh, so in potentially it does have the ability to do 240 damage for four energy. So two steel, two normal. Wow, but it does backfire. So if you do have a lot, if you have a bunch of Rattatars on your bench, you're pretty much nearly one-shotting them. Uh, but the trade-off is brilliant. I'm really, really happy with this card actually. Uh, so. It seems like we only got one actual EX card, um, so I think we're going to end the video here. Um, so if you do like these kind of booster pack opening videos, um, I'll leave it in the outro, but uh, what a day. So that concludes our first pack opening for Pokemon TCGO. I hope you guys enjoyed opening these packs with me. Please leave a comment or get me on Twitter as I'd love to know what you guys think about some of these great pulls. Starting on the next episode, I will be giving away some codes, but to make it fair, I'll also be releasing those codes on Twitter as well. I will think of some rules for the giveaway depending on how well it's received and probably expand it out a bit further depending on what kind of feedback. If you would like to catch up with me and see what I'm up to, you can follow, like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Insta, Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. And remember, game the clever way. Peace.